Alright then, hello and welcome back to Toka 2 Touring Cars. It's another off week for the British Touring Car Championship. So we're going to head back to the Support Car Championship category. And the next car is, of course, the Grinnell Scorpion. Managed to get the full points on the AC Super Blower. So uh, yeah, next up then, the Grinnell, which is a, a very unique machine. And uh, let's have a look at the car colors on choice. Um, what are we going to go with this time? I usually pick blues or greens, so I think I'm going to mix up. We did have pink as well for the AC Super Blower, so I think I'm going to go for... Um, I'm going to go for yellow this time. Uh, gearing, I'm going to keep is automatic. And uh, yeah, we'll get started then with race number one of four in the Grinnell Scorpion. We've only got two more cars to do in the Support Car Championship as well, which of course the TVR Speed 12 and the Jaguar XJ220. And first stop is Thruxton, of course, uh, 2.36 miles, yada, 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 you can see it on the screen, you don't need me to tell you. 1 minute 28 seconds is the lap record by Andy in the Nissan Primera, I think we're going to beat that fairly easily, to be honest. So, uh, as always, just going to go and, uh, brake bias is fine, gear ratios, gear 5, going to put it as tall, going to need it for around here. Um, suspension, I'm just going to leave everything as it is, really. And yeah, three laps ahead of us then, and it's sunny. And yeah, again, very unique machine to the Toka franchise. And off we go. Now, the thing with these machines is that they do have a lot of wheel spin with them. Oh, and they can be a little bit difficult to handle as you can see but this is absolutely fine we'll have a little look at the car actually once we get onto the uh, main straight so I don't botch everything up come on catch up there you go you got the main central view and then you got this it's very strange looking but um, back in the day I always thought this was a made-up machine because, you know, some uh, some games had, like, fictional cars that made it into games. But, no, this is an actual real machine. God knows how it handles, though, but, yeah. I can imagine it's like a reversed Reliant Regal. Or to some similarity. And uh, there we go. Already taken the lead even after that minor spin. So, this championship is one of the easier ones. Shouldn't cause any uh, headaches as such. Get to the club chicane. Very unique sounding machines as well in this game. And, uh, oh, we didn't beat the lap record of Andy in the Primera. But then we did have that spin at the start. Yeah, these, these cars aren't particularly fast either. Top out round about 1, as you can see on the speedometer then, 132 to 135-ish. And that's with the tall gearing as well, so. And they handle, they don't handle too bad. You know, I've definitely driven worse in this game. Like the uh, Lister Storm. Bloody awful car. And the AC Super Blower as well, that car is... Not the greatest, I must admit. So yeah, topping out 132. Oh no, we actually hit 133 then. Let's have a look. 133, yeah, 133 is the top speed. And you got that lovely loop of the engine when it hits to the maximum revs. A one second loop. Already 12 seconds up on our previous lap time as well, which is to be, you know, understandable because of the standing start and the spin as well. So our lap times are going to plummet. Uh, the final lap, 116.37, not too bad. So with any luck, this championship should be pretty much a walkover we should get the full 40 points touch wood anyway usually I, I keep making these predictions and they're usually wrong yep 
which is always the case with everything I usually do. Now, once the uh, support card championship is finished, there are still other modes to do. We've got the challenge mode, which we'll be doing as well. Uh, once again, I think I'll do that in between the championship rounds, just so it mixes it up a little bit and it, you know, keeps the, uh, the championship a little bit more broken up. Oh, and oh, we messed up Club Chicane. It's fine. We're miles ahead of second place. Come on. Get it back around. There we go. And round one then is complete. Three more to go. We'll do our usual and go into the barrier at the end. And et voila. Sorted. Do you want to see the replay? No, not really. We'll do that at the end. Uh, so yeah, full 10 points then. How far back was last place? He was a minute back, so we almost lapped one of the cars. And of course, we get the full 10 points. Ellie, McDonald, Hall, and Walker, the top five. And then we have uh, Hannah Ford, Dawes, Dang, Nicholson, and Fernandez with the single solitary point. Next to, oh God, Knock Hill. I am, I just cannot stand Knock Hill. It's a fun track, don't get me wrong, but I mean, it is, it's just so, yeah, it's not one of my favourites. And of course, they always have this storm uh, weather effects on this as well. Is my settings still the same? Yes, they are. So yeah, it's going to be piddling down with rain. Joyous joys. Lights are on. Come on. And go. And you can hear the wheel spin as well. Oh, oh, I, I didn't actually see him then. Uh, oops. Yeah, my driver punches the steering wheel in frustration. Because of course he does. We should hopefully be able to catch up if, uh, we cut the chicane. Yeah, there they are. They're just there. So this one should be easy as well. I don't know why, but I really struggle with the AC super blower uh, during the uh, event here. I actually really struggle to try and catch up or just keep the car in control, really, especially going through the, uh, the tight hairpin. So we slowed the car down early enough. We should. Get it around. Nicely done. Come on. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Yeah, go on. Shake your fist at him. He's going to see you. Not. Face full of mist and dirt and gravel and oil and other such nonsense. Slow it down. Get it around. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. We caught up anyway, so we got one more lap after this to do, and then it should be another victory. So 20 points on the board. Eight seconds up from our previous lap time. Do the usual cut the chicane. It's funny how they do add thunderstorms and stuff in racing games, when in reality, they would stop the race, bring out the red flag because the conditions are too bad, and of course, the fear of getting struck by lightning. Uh, yeah, you don't want that at all, especially if you are a track marshal. No, oh, that was the most pathetic slow spin on the planet. Come on, get it back. Luckily, we had a bit of a lead. Come on. Oh my god, the acceleration is absolutely dreadful. Well, we were on a grass bank, so it's to be expected. But yeah, wasn't there an incident in Malaysia during one of the endurance races or something like that where they had a thunderstorm, as is mostly the case in the afternoons in Malaysia. And uh, one of the cameras got struck by lightning. One of the cameramen or one of the track marshals there actually unfortunately lost his life after being struck by lightning. You know, it does happen. You know, these, these freaks of nature uh, do happen when you least expect it.
I was almost hit by lightning once. This is going back to like 2004. We had a storm roll through the area. And we have a, a little metal hoop uh, on the outside of the house, which is to do with the phone wires that are attached to the, uh, to the house to take up the slack. And lightning hit that metal hoop and I was stood outside watching the storm and it was only like 10 feet away. And all my extremities were all tingling and buzzing and everything like that. Really, really unique experience. And when lightning is that close, you can smell the lightning in the air. It's like pure sulfur uh, or uh, what it is, it's actually ozone. That's why you get that really musty smell during storms. It's just pure ozone. That's what you could smell. It's really strong. But uh, yeah, fun times. Anyway, 20 points on the board. So that is always good. And heading to Silverstone International. Hooray. Which they don't use anymore, of course, because the, the track has been completely reconfigured. The international layout now is... It looks really boring. But that's just me. Anyway, right. Race number three. Get them sorted. Lights are on. Revs rise and off we bloody well go. Let's squeeze up the middle of you guys. Thank you very much. Almost understeered off into the track or onto the uh, grass infield. Or outfield, infield, whichever. And there we go. Taking the lead before we even hit the uh, twisties. Now, let's see if we can actually lap someone this time. See if we can actually get all our apexes spot on. And lap someone. How far back are we? Uh, now, because we've already unlocked the other support categories, like the TVR Speed 12 and the Jaguar XJ220, I think we unlock a few more bonus tracks after completing the championships. Don't quote me on that. I think so, though. I know you win uh, bonus tracks if you get, like, the victories during the championship. But, of course, we haven't had that many victories during the touring cars, so... Uh, we haven't really unlocked many of the bonus circuits. They're usually just different variations of Alton Park or the test course. And a few others like that. And of course, this is the first time the Loch Rannoch track made its appearance, which continued on during the Toka Race Driver series as well. No, I don't think we're going to be lapping anyone, sadly. This track is a bit too big. But we'll have a bloody good go. 26 seconds ahead of Dawes. What's the score as George Dawes? Okie doke. Oh, don't spin it. Would go. And the final lap. Five seconds up. 118.82. Not too bad. Probably could do a little bit better than that. Take this corner cops more flat out. Maggots and Beckett's. Break. Going into this complex, which I've forgotten the name of, the corners. Uh, 
Uh, I know this complex, this is Bridge, which is where I came a cropper multiple times during Automobilista 2 while leading the race. If you haven't seen that video, it's uploaded in the uh, German Group A category or the DTM. I think it was coming up to the penultimate lap as well, or it might have been the last lap. And yeah, just touched the grass, spun the car around into the wall, ripped the front of the car off. Fun times. And there we go then. We won by 56 seconds. It'll probably be a bit more than that because that was the previous split time. And there we go. Lovely job. So yeah, we won in the end by 1 minute 1 second from Ellie, Dang, Hall, McDonald, Hannah Ford, uh, Nicholson, Walker, Dawes, and Fernandez. 1 minute 17 back. 30 points, one more race to go, and I think we can actually whitewash this championship and get the full 40. So I don't have to go back and do it again. And Donington, ah, not too bad. Lap record, 119.04 by Lee in the Audi A4. Will beat that easy. Always looks like a shoe, doesn't it? Like a really weird shaped shoe with the... Uh, yeah, not a good uh, sole on it. And it's raining, of course it's raining. Wouldn't be uh, Donington without a bit of rain. Alright, lights are on. Last race. And... Off we go. Now this race is the one that caused most of the problems when we were in the Lister Storm. Because they would all, the, the AI, for some reason, they would always bash you out the way. Oh, bloody annoying. Luckily, no such problems if you go through Redgate. Through the Craners. Old hairpin. Take the lead. And no problem at all. Now, I always used to call this corner McLean's. But it's not, it's McLean's. I'm just very, very ignorant. So yeah, you go through McLean's, then you go through Coppice, and then on the back straight. To end the lap. Over the massive rumble strips. And look at the lead we've already pulled out. Lovely. I don't know if I could cut the chicane. Yep, there we go. That is how you're supposed to do it properly. I think before I tried doing that with the Lister Storms and I came a cropper and spun the car and broke everything. Oh, the car is just sliding a little bit. Starkey's Bridge, which of course isn't there anymore. Oh, why did the car do that? Thank you very much. Oh well. Breaking the windscreen on these ones isn't too much of a big deal because it's literally just like a little strip of plexiglass on the front. Come on. Oh, the steering lock on these things are bloody atrocious. I thought they were bad on the touring cars. These ones are bloody awful. The steering wheel is a bit of an odd shape as well. Reminds me of the... Oh, what was it? The... Austin Allegro. With the, with the uh, square steering wheel. Oh, well, last lap. And we're 10 seconds off our previous lap time, which is to be expected. Try and uh, get a good lap this time, though, if we don't spin. Through the Craner curves and going into Old Hairpin.
we're up on our previous lap time as well, so should be a good lap on this one. Should get to 112, 111 possibly. We can get coppice, right? Which we do. Nail it bang on. Oh, we're six seconds up. Oh, so we're going to be under the one minute ten barrier. Touch gain. Spot on. And it is a one minute seven and change. Didn't see the odds. And yeah, I'll view the replay to get a good thumbnail. So I will see you in just a bit. And there we go then. So uh, we get the victory. Another 10 points. That is the maximum 40 points. Hall was second. Ellie, Walker and Dawes. And last place was 51 seconds back, which was Nicholson. And here are the points then. We win 40 points to 33, 32, 23, 21, 20, 19, 17, 8 and 7 for Fernandez, unfortunately. And there we go. Support championship is over. Hooray. So that's another one down. Two to go. And we shall do those on the off weeks from the British Touring Cars, as always. Do we unlock any other tracks this time, though? No? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Save progress. Yes, why not? No, I don't think we got any tracks, so otherwise we would have got a little uh, notification to say so. Overwrite previous data. Yes, please. There we go. So, yeah, we didn't unlock anything new, but we've got uh, two more to go. Everything is maxed out at the moment. 200 points so of a total of 280. And, uh, yeah, so we'll do those during the off weeks of the British Touring Cars, as we have been doing before. And I will see you all next time then for, uh, what was it, rounds? I forgot what rounds it is for the British Touring Cars. And then we'll do the TVR Speed 12 soon after. So, uh, yeah, until then, thank you very much for watching, as always. And I will see you all next time. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you then.